the development is incredibly important to me. I believe you don't go to the next level, you grow to the next level. And I think it's important for me to unpack what I mean by that. I don't want you to read when I'm not writing. Uh, I am not suggesting that a person has to grow personally to do it big professionally. I think we have all seen examples of people who are living with this dissonance between their professional growth and their personal growth. What I am arguing is wherever you go professionally, you take you with you personally. You cannot outrun you. And eventually, the you that is underdeveloped personally will sabotage the you that is growing professionally. This summit, the Thrive Summit, isn't just about mentoring people on how to do it big. I think there may be others who are more equipped and frankly more passionate about that. This is about how to do it well. Not just well in terms of your performance, but well in terms of your person. This is what I've learned, that you can be successful, but not be successful at being successful. That being successful is hard. And many people don't do success well. Uh, their lives are out of balance. And, you know, there are some people who have gone so far as to suggest that there is no such thing as balance. Well, I'm like, well, there's no such thing as balance for you. Um, if, if that's a level of living you want to accept, if that's a philosophy you choose to live by, that's not my conviction. I think. Um, I've redefined what balance looks like, and it doesn't mean that you give equal energy and equal attention to everything at the same time. But a balanced life is a real wound, a well-rounded one where you are throwing the most of yourself and the best of yourself into those things that matter the most, uh, where you're not building an empire and neglecting your castle or living in the castle and not building an empire. There are some dichotomies and some um, some silos that I just reject. I don't believe that it's always this or that. I believe some things with this and that. And, and the point that I'm making, though, is professional development um, is one thing, but personal development is another. When you really look at great people falling and uh, falling from grace, failing, very often that failed, the presence of failure is not always connected to the absence of a gift. People can be incredibly gifted, yet still fail, not because they're not developed person, professionally, but at some point, that lack of personal development catches up with them. Vices that they didn't address, the, the absence of balance in certain areas, the, the absence of accountability in certain areas, all of this matters greatly. And these are some of the topics we want to lean into at the Thrive Summit. Um, you know, time management for one. I don't know if we talk enough about that. A well-rounded leader must be a master of the calendar. And time management is not just organizing time, it is strategically investing time into the areas that are going to give you the greatest return. You know, it's like spiritual leaders. I think some statistics came out recently that show most spiritual leaders, like even um, specifically Christian leaders, I think the the stat that I became exposed to said that I think maybe um, the majority of them prayed under eight minutes a day or something along those lines. And so it means that you have spiritual leaders who don't have or aren't taking the time to invest in spiritual development. Look at the irony of that. And it doesn't mean that they don't take it seriously. It may mean that they're not throwing the most of their time into the thing that's going to give them the greatest investment. A leader must be a master of that calendar. Time is currency. It is what must be exchanged in order for you to receive um, a return on your investment. It, it is Time is the seed that must be sown to reap the harvest that you want to reach. It is the key that unlocks the door to higher levels of fruitfulness and fulfillment. It is currency that must be exchanged 
in order for you to receive what matters most. Uh, a well-rounded leader must be a master of the calendar. So there's got to be time management. There's got to be energy management because some of the activities that you are responsible for engaging in require more mental energy than others. And so a leader has to learn how to, con an achiever, not just a leader, an achiever has to learn how to conserve energy for the things that demand the most and that will give you the most return. So if a person values family, then it means that they're going to conserve energy for family. And that work is not going to get all of them so that the family gets leftovers of them, you know. And so that may not be your value system. That's that's mine, but it may not be yours. But whatever matters most to you, I think it's important to recognize uh, energy management, personal growth plans, um, that spiritual growth, emotional growth, professional growth is different from natural growth. Natural growth happens organically. You just get older, you grow. Spiritual growth, emotional growth, professional growth, they require intentionality. What is the plan for growth? And so those are some of the things that we're going to discuss and talk about at the Thrive Summit. Because we don't want to just raise up a generation of achievers that are simply surviving that are growing professionally, imploding personally, and we have all seen what personal implosions do to professional success. Careers that you spend a lifetime building become collateral damage from personal implosions that people, that come from problems personally that people spend a lifetime ignoring. Problems we spend a lifetime ignoring can become dynamite that blows up the career we spend a lifetime building. We're going to talk about that this year at our Thrive Summit, one of the many subjects we're going to discuss. I'd love for you to be a part of it. Don't just survive. Let's thrive.